Hello and welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's another problem on volume of cubes and cuboids. It says that at 9 a.m., Kate turned on the supply tap, which dispensed water at a rate of 3 liters per minute to fill an empty rectangular container. At the same time, water began leaking out of the container at a rate of 0 0.5 liters per minute through its faulty tap. Kate turned off the supply tap when the container was filled to its capacity. Given that the container measured 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters by 25 centimeters, at what time was the container completely empty again? Okay, now this is quite a mouthful, but trust me, it's not very difficult at all. All right, so here is the empty rectangular container, okay? And this is the supply tap, and this is the faulty tap, okay? Now here is what is happening. If this is suppose the timeline, let me make a timeline here. Let's suppose that this over here is our timeline. Then this is the sequence of events. Okay, at 9 a.m. the container was empty. And that's when Kate turned on the supply tab. So she turned on the tab and water began flowing into the container and the container started to get filled. Now at the same time, there was a faulty tap, okay, through which water began leaking out. Now the rate at which water was flowing into the container was three liters a minute, and the rate at which water was leaking out of the container was 0.5 liters a minute, which means that more water was flowing into the container than was flowing out of the container. So at some point, the container was filled to its capacity which means it was completely full okay so it was full at some point we don't know what point of time but we'll find out okay so when the container was filled to the brim to the top okay then Kate what she did was she turned off the supply tap so this tap was off but this tap was still on okay this one over here the leaky tap the faulty tap was still leaking water out of the container. So this was still working. And then there came a point of time when the container was empty again. So there was no more water in the container. Okay, so we erase all this. There was no water in the container then. And we have to find out what time that was. All right, so that's the sequence of events. So let me put the last piece here which is at what time was the container empty again okay and this is the time that we are interested in finding out okay okay now here are a few other things that we know we know that the container measured 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters by 25 centimeters now usually these numbers are written as length first breadth next and height the third the last but it doesn't really matter you know for the purpose of this question we don't really care what is the length what is the breadth or what is the height you will know later that we only care about the volume or the capacity of the container now quite obviously the maximum volume of water that this container can hold is its capacity which is 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters by 25 centimeters okay so let's write that down let's calculate what the capacity of the container is okay so the capacity would be 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters by 25 centimeters right the length times the breadth times the height which will be what let's see 20 times 15 is 300 and 300 times 25 well let's see 300 times 25 is actually 3 times 25 and the two zeros so that will be 7500 or 7000 500 cubic centimeters now we know that 1000 cubic centimeters is equal to 1 liter so the capacity of the container will be then 7.5 liters all right so the maximum amount of water that this container can hold is 7.5 liters all right so then how much time will it take to fill 7.5 liters into this container well let's uh, put this down that the volume is 7.5 liters and we'll find out the other things next okay so let me make some room here first 
Okay, now we know that when the supply tap is on, okay, let's turn it on. So when the supply tap is on, water is flowing into the container at a rate of 3 liters per minute. Okay, so we can say that in one minute, in one minute, water going into the container is 3 liters, right? And in one minute, water going out of the container through the leaky tap is 0.5 liters. So, in one minute, water going into the container is 3 liters and water going out of the container is 0.5 liters. So then in one minute, water being added to the container will quite simply be the difference of the two, right? So 3 liters minus 0.5 liters, which is 2.5 liters, right? The supply tap is supplying 3 liters of water and the faulty tap is draining 0.5 liters of water in one minute. So then there will be how much water left in the container in one minute? Or how much water will be added to the container in one minute? Well, there will be 2.5 liters of water, right? What is going into the container minus what is going out of the container. So 3 liters minus 0.5 liters, which is 2.5 liters, right? So in one minute, 2.5 liters of water are being added into the container. So then how long will it take to fill the container to its capacity of 7.5 liters? Well, let's see, we know that the capacity of the container is 7.5 liters and 2.5 liters per minute is the rate at which water is being added, right? So then 7.5 over 2.5, that will give you the number of minutes that it will take to fill the container to its maximum capacity, right? So then 7.5 divided by 2.5 is actually 75 divided by 25 if we get rid of the decimal point and that will give you three minutes so it will take three minutes to fill the container to its maximum capacity all right so now if we go back to our timeline at 9 a.m the container was empty the supply tap was turned on and the faulty tap also started leaking water so then it took three minutes to fill the container to the top. So that means at 9.03 a.m. the container was filled to the brim, right? And then when that happened, what happened was Kate, she turned off the supply tap. So this was turned off, right? Now we know that before this was turned off, actually let me turn that back on. So before this was turned off, there was water in the container to the top right and when the supply tap was turned off at 9.03 a.m. okay this was turned off this faulty tap was still working right so water began leaking out of the container through this faulty tap at a rate of 0.5 liters a minute so in one minute 0.5 liters of water was leaking out through this faulty tap now we have to find out that at this rate how long did it take to empty the container of 7.5 liters of water, right? So drop by drop, water was leaking out of this container through its faulty tap and there was a point of time when there was no water left in the container and we have to find out what that time was. All right, so let's do some uh, calculations here. Let me make some room here first. Now again, in one minute, Water leaking out of the container is 0 0.5 liters. So then to drain 7.5 liters, how long will it take? Quite simply, just like before, 7.5 liters divided by the rate at which water is flowing out, which is 0 0.5 liters a minute. Okay, and how much is that equal to? Well, 75 divided by 5, we get rid of the decimal points, right? So here, 75 divided by 5. Well, 5 times 15 is 75, so it will take 15 minutes to drain all the water out of the container through this faulty tap. So, if the container was full at 9 or 3 a.m., then 15 minutes after 9 or 3 a.m., what time will that be? Well, that time would be, you add 15 minutes to 9 or 3 and you get 9.18 a.m. So it will be 9.18 a.m. 
when the container will be empty again. All right, now that's what we had to find out. At what time was the container completely empty again? Well, the container was completely empty again at 9.18 a.m. Well, that's it about this word problem. I hope you got what I taught and I hope that now you go and solve similar word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. Bye-bye.